Together we're better, from the Ark Maryland. Inclusion is the act or practice of including and accommodating people who have historically been excluded as because of their race, gender, sexuality, or ability. Hello everyone, my name is Ken Capone and I want to thank you for letting me talk to you today. What does it mean to have a disability? If someone has a physical disability, it is means when a part or parts of the body do not work well. If someone has a learning disability, it means they learn how to do things a little different. People with disabilities can do many of the things you get to do, but it might take them longer. They may need assistance or special equipment to help them. Some people with disabilities use wheelchairs and others walk with the help of crutches or braces. In some cases, a person's speech may be affected or the person might not be able to speak at all with their voice, but as you can see I speak just fine. What disability do you have? During birth, my brain did not get enough oxygen, so the lack of oxygen caused my disability which is cerebral palsy. Well, some people would call it a disability. I just call it life. I don't let my disability stop me from living a productive and fulfilling life. How does cerebral palsy affect you? I don't have much control over what my hands and arms do so typing on a keyboard would be difficult. Cerebral palsy affects muscle control and coordination, so even simple movements, like putting your thumb and first finger together, are difficult. What was it like growing up with your disability? When I was growing up, my brothers and sisters helped me with my basic needs like feeding, bathing, and, best of all, playing. I feel like I had a normal childhood. We played kick the can, hide and seek, marbles in during the summer we joined the neighborhood pool. Every day we were at the pool. I had a great childhood, sure, it was difficult at times but that difficulty gave me strength and taught me that there are struggles in life, but you can overcome anything that you set your mind to. How do you live your life with a disability? I now live on my own. I have people who support me in my daily needs. I have my own accessible van, so somebody can drive me wherever I need to go. Throughout my life, I have used a head stick. It acts like my hands. I do everything with it. I use it to control my power chair, to text on my cell phone. I also use my head stick to type on a keyboard on my iPad which with the right application can speak for me. Do you have a job? I do have a job. My title is Public Policy Director for People on the Go of Maryland. We teach people how everyone should be included in school, work, and their community. I go to Annapolis, the state capital, to speak to government leaders about how they can pass laws to make it a better environment for people with disabilities. I even got appointed by former President Obama to help shape laws for the entire country for people with disabilities. Maybe some of you will grow up to be leaders. What can students in schools do to make sure everyone is welcomed and feels included? Be patient if you know someone or meet someone with a disability. If you can't understand what a person is saying or if it takes a person with a disability longer to do things, give them more extra time to speak or move. Being a good friend is all about patience and understanding. What else do you want students to know about people with disabilities? The best way to learn and make new friends even if they may seem different to you is to ask questions. Remember asking questions are how we all learn. And lastly, if you want to say hi to the person, you can, you might brighten someone's day. Want to learn more about school inclusion from people with disabilities? Schedule an online presentation by contacting Sharon Doles at sdoles at thearcmd.org. You can also learn more about Together We're Better on our website at www.thearcmd.org. Together We're Better is brought to you by a partnership between The Arc Maryland, 
the Maryland Department of Disabilities, the Maryland Developmental Disabilities Council, and the Maryland State Department of Education.